before you log off and kiss 2023 goodbye, make sure that your ClickUp workspace is ready for all those new and exciting projects coming your way in the new year. There is nothing quite like going into the new year with a clean slate. Hey guys, my name is Christy. I'm the CEO and founder of De Silva Life, a systems consulting agency where I am a verified ClickUp consultant and HoneyBook Pro. So systems and processes is totally my jam. So in this video, I'm so excited to go through how to clean out your ClickUp for the new year and make sure you are prepped and ready and feel at peace and ease going in, knowing that everything is organized and ready to go. So with that, let's dive in. So let's dive in to the things that you can do to clean out your ClickUp and prep it for the new year. So the first thing that we're going to go through is cleaning up your hierarchy. So what you're going to want to do is really evaluate what worked in 2023 and what didn't work. Where do you feel like there are sticking points or things that maybe you plan to use but you never used? I'll give you an example of a standard hierarchy that we use. Um, now, please ignore everything that is in gray. This is our template workspace. So these are some of our planning bundles and then our template holding spaces as well. But a typical structure that we have is operations, growth, marketing and PR, clients, programs and courses, and personal. So in operations, that'll have all like business HQ type, type things, hiring, team resources, updates and maintenance, etc. Growth would have things like sales trackers, launch templates, goals tracking, leads, project availability, etc. Marketing and PR. Now, this is also we have some like template stuff in here too. So, this isn't exactly what ours look like. It's not exactly what we set up for our clients. Every single person is going to be different. So, do not take this as end all be all. Uh, marketing and PR is going to be things that are related to marketing and PR. So your content calendars, your PR, your collaboration trackers, etc. Clients is where you can have your client projects. So for example, how we have this is that every single ClickUp client that we do ClickUp builds for has a folder. Then we have one folder for 2023 or the year HoneyBook builds and each HoneyBook client has their own list. And then we also have ongoing an ongoing support client folder where each ongoing client has their own list with their support form, general client tasks, client testimonials, database, etc. So this is gonna look different for you based on your project types, on your clients, things like that. Um, but I typically recommend having one space for all clients. Then you're gonna go into programs and courses. So this, if you have a program, course, membership, mastermind, managing all that stuff in there. And then personal, it's just fun things, vacation planning, Christmas gift tracker, etc. if you want to combine your personal with your business. Some people do not. Some people want it in a totally separate project management tool. Some people want it in a totally different ClickUp workspace. I personally love it in my business one for now. Subject to change as always. So you're going to go through your hierarchy and say, okay, what worked for me? Where do I feel like there are these, you know, hesitations, these roadblocks? Let's clean this up. You're also going to go through and say, is there anything in here in operations that I didn't touch for the whole year? Um, this is also a great time to do the ClickUp Cleanout. Um, I will link that in the description below. We have a ClickUp Cleanout task template and tutorial that will show you any stale tasks that you have, any spaces that are like, you haven't touched this in a while. Are you sure you want to have this and use this? So it's a great time to reevaluate re your hierarchy. Okay, step Step number two, after you go ahead and clean out your hierarchy and say, what do I no longer want? Then it's time to decide what to archive. So if you're deleting something, it's going to be like, I don't use this. I'm not going to use it. Um, things like views as well. Check out your views on the everything level. Do you use all the views? Do you need to delete some? Check out your favorites bar. It's really this time to declutter. And then archiving is when you're like, okay, this project, this client, this yearly 
thing is over um, and now we want to refresh for the new year. So archiving is a great option because you can still bring it back, right? So if I have clients, right, and I have this project-based client, for example, to sell the life click build. If I go ahead and archive this, it's still gonna be available if I go into here and I click show archived. Then you can see all these different places and then you can always restore it if needed. So I will turn off archived. So you're gonna go through and decide, you know, what do I need to archive for the new year? So for us, we archive any completed ClickUp projects. We archive the entire 2023 HoneyBook builds. We archive our launch folders. So in growth, we will have a launch folder for every single launch during the year and we'll keep it open for the whole year. And then at the end of the year, we will go ahead and archive the launches. So really going through and saying, what do I want to keep for data purposes, but do not need to look at moving into this new year. Tip number three, time to delete old dashboards. So if you come into dashboards, there's no option right now to archive dashboards. You can only delete them, but there are definitely dashboards 99% of the time that we created and we never used, or maybe it was a client dashboard that we forgot to delete. So it's time to just go through and check out your dashboards and be like, okay, what can I clean out? This is going to feel so good. I promise you'll be so happy you're going through and doing these things. It's not complicated. It's just like, okay, what am I using? What am I not using? What do I have to delete or archive? Then it's time to go ahead and assess your goals section. Do you use ClickUp goals and is it time to archive any of those? Again, I wouldn't suggest when it comes to things like goals, deleting them because you still want to have record that you did you know, have them um, and whether you hit them or not, I think it's best I would only delete or recommend to delete it if you're like, I never tried to achieve this goal, this was just a test, etc. But if you're like, this is a goal I set for 2023, whether or not you achieved it or not, I would recommend either archiving it or putting it into a folder that's like 2023 goals and shove them all in there and you can always reference them later. So go into your goals section, check it out. Also, go into your whiteboards. Do you guys use whiteboards? Um, anything in here that you can check out and be like, okay, let me just get rid of the clutter, clean out the clutter. And then also if you have any goals trackers in terms of like lists, right? So we have this annual habit and annual goals and habit tracker. Do you have this for each year? And is that something you want to archive? Or you can also choose to refresh it and you can always have the goals. You don't have to archive it, but then you would make a new one for the new year. There are also different templates while I'm on this topic that you're going to want to refresh for the new year. Now, I don't mean clear it all out, but for example, our sales trackers, our profit first trackers, we have one list for every single year because it's annual. Um, so we don't archive them. We want to keep that data in our dashboards. We want to have that data to refer back to during the year. Um, so we will just create, for example, in our sales trackers, we will have 2022, 2023, 2024, um, and then also profit first, same idea there. So look at the different templates that you have that are annual and decide um, if you want to keep it, but you have to create a new fresh version. Pro tip, if you have any Zapier automations attached to these, make sure that when you create the new list, you switch those over. And that's a January 1st thing. A lot of these things you could do in preparation for the new year, but there are some things that you're going to want to do to switch for January 1. Okay, next thing is as you're doing the hierarchy clean and the ClickUp clean out, again, we have the ClickUp clean out task that goes through all the things. Let me actually, um, here, ClickUp clean out task template. So if you come into here, you can see all of the action items that, again, this is available in our shop, but your tasks, your hierarchy, miscellaneous. As you're going through this and seeing any stale tasks, now is your time to decide, is this something that I actually want to put on my to-do list for the new year? Is this something I want to strive to achieve and put a due date on it? So also, this is the time to not just delete an archive, but also say, you know what? 2024 is the year. I'm going to do that thing. 
And then lastly, it is time to evaluate your SOP library. So we have, again, this in our template shop, also in our team management bundle, as you can see here. Maybe you have one SOP library, maybe you have multiple, maybe you have none. Now is the time to look at your SOPs and say, are there any that need a refresh? Do I need to put this into needs edits or create another status that says refresh, revamp, etc.? And whether that's a process that you really have to go through and dive into and revamp, or you're like, this has totally changed, we changed platforms, etc. Put those in that status. This is not something that I'm telling you, you have to revamp all of your SOPs before January 1, but more so you're taking a look at your SOP library and saying, what needs refreshing and when am I gonna do it? This is also a great time to add things to the to create. If you are prepping to hire more team members or team members in the first place, let's be proactive. And I feel like there are sometimes too where there's this roadblock of like, oh my gosh, I have to create all these SOPs. But really the first step is just writing down the ones that you have to create. You don't have to create the task and do the SOP on the same day. Let's just start getting the wheels turning and brainstorming of what has to happen to bring on these team members to revamp these SOPs. So that is it for what we do and what we suggest you do for your 2024 prep, your 2023 declutter and click up. I hope this video was helpful for you and gave you a little bit of inspiration into, you know, it's not complicated, but having a fresh and clean system going to the new year is going to make all the difference. So cheers. So I hope that video was helpful for you in learning how you can clean out your ClickUp for the end of the year, the steps that we actually take at To Sell the Life and also help our clients and students do as well. If you are newer to ClickUp or you've been using it for a while and you really are ready to dive into that step-by-step -step and set it up and maximize it, go ahead and check out our System School ClickUp course and Template Vault. You can buy them separately or bundle them together. It's going to be all the resources you need to set yourself up for success. So if you are going into the new year saying, this is the year I get my ClickUp set up right so I can scale my business, make sure to check it out. I'll put it in the link in the description below. And with that, thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you want all the ClickUp content coming your way. And I'll see you next time.